Okay, so I just finished running a power cable so I can run my phone or any other uh, SAE-powered uh, uh, accessory. Uh, this is a KTM 350 EXEF. It's a 2016 model. Uh, I'm going to show you how I ran an SAE cable to the fuse panel that's under the seat and tapped into the uh, headlight and all of those things that run off of the key. Later in this video, I'm going to say that it runs off of the battery, which is ridiculous. Of course it runs off the battery. It runs off the key, so uh, it won't drain my battery whenever I you know, get off the bike and walk away. So let me show you how I did that. So here's our fuse panel. I did have to cut this in order to... Um, to, to fit the fuse tap. So what I did, I can remove this fuse tap. There we go. So I tapped into the number four fuse tap, which is for the headlight, the brake light, the turn signals and all those things. So it's run off the battery. I put in this fuse tap. There we go. So I had to trim this piece to get it to kind of snug around this lead here. I don't know if you can see that. This lead here pokes out of the front. So I'll secure that up with some, some sort of weatherproofing, maybe, a, maybe like a piece of rubber or maybe I'll just Use some electrical tape and tape it up. So, coming out of the fuse tap, I have it going to, there's a fuse here for my, uh, the SAE uh, power connector in the front. So that came with a seven and a half amp fuse. So I have this wire going to that fuse. I just kind of tucked it in the bottom here. That fuse has uh, just a, a positive and a negative. The, uh, I ran the negative to the same place where my battery negative terminal, terminal goes. And then, I'll show you how that gets run through. So this comes, where are we at here? So we come from the seven and a half amp fuse that came onto the wire, that, that came with the wire. We run down this way, kind of follow this chunk of wires here, which goes right through here and then down this little channel. You see right down there. I'll come around the other side. So the wire is sitting up in that area. You can kind of see it at the top of the, of the frame there. I have it zip tied in a couple of places along with some other cables that came stock on the bike. And it runs over this way kind of on top of, or to, to the inside of the radiator. Uh, you can't really see it in there. There, I think you can kind of see it right there. And then it comes out between this mount. If you can get a good look at that mount. There's a mount here for the radiator, along with this big chunk of wires. Zip tied it there, then it comes up this way behind the headlight. I have it zip tied behind the headlight too, and it comes out here. So that's it right here. I'll pull that off. There we go. 
So this is that wire here. So it's just zip tied and it'll just sit here. It's got a little cover for it. And then this, I don't know where I'm gonna mount this, but this is a USB, SAE powered USB that'll run my GPS here. So I don't know where I'm gonna mount this. I'd like for it to be sort of away from splashes. So I was thinking maybe mount it under the phone. Maybe the phone would save it. You know, the phone's in a waterproof case. Maybe that'll save it from some some splash damage. <laughs> uh, but that's it. So I can unplug this and plug in heated grips anytime I want or whatever other SAE powered accessory. And when I'm not using it, I just cover it up and I can tuck it in and won't bother no one. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment. I'll try and get back to you.